I have not worn my hair like this since probably 2004. <laughs> really going well. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Alyssa Morrison or The Alyssa Morrison if you're new here and today I am sharing with you guys how to smell like a freaking snack. If you are not already subscribed make sure to do so by clicking that big red button down below and give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. All of the perfumes that I'm talking about today will be listed in the description box below for you to go ahead and check out. You guys know I am all about self-care and self-love on my channel and I have to be honest with you guys I went through a stage where I was Specifically picking out perfumes that I thought men loved and this was all about smelling good for date night or Because we all know I'm going on so many dates I have transformed my perfume game into what makes me feel good about myself and getting whiffs of myself throughout the day It's just my favorite thing ever. I am such a scent person Be sure to stay tuned until the end because I'm going to be talking about an extremely affordable perfume that Honestly blows some of the other perfumes out of the water and I've been wearing it every single day Day. Starting off with my tried and true. This is something that I've had for years and I will never ever get sick of it This is the YSL black opium if you can see there's just a little bit left there you guys This is the perfect going out fragrance it is warm, it is a gourmand, sweet, but very, very rich scent. If you guys have never gotten a hold of this or smelled this, you need to do so immediately. I have not met anyone personally who does not like the scent of this. It seems like one of those universal scents that everybody can really get behind. If you don't like sweet, very rich gourmand scents, you might not love this, but again, I really haven't met anyone who doesn't love this. This one is a big hit with the men as well. I will say a lot of men compliment me when I wear this, especially out. Um, it's definitely my most complimented scent by men. <sighs> Next, I have the perfume that blew up on TikTok, rightfully so. This is the Valentino Born in Roma perfume. This gives me black opium vibes, but a little bit more floral. It's beautiful. I personally reach more towards the black opium than this. I just love the black opium so much. I would say it's probably my signature scent, but this is absolutely beautiful as well. I personally like to mix both of them together. Sorry the angle changed a little bit. I got really hungry and needed a snack. The notes of the Valentino Born in Roma are black currant. Do I know what that means? No. Jasmine and bourbon vanilla. Very warm and decadent, very feminine, but sexier. It's I would consider it a nighttime perfume, although I feel like it's a little bit fresher and lighter than the black opium. We have a spin on the tried and true classic of Juicy Couture. This is the Juicy Couture Gold. It has all of those beautiful notes of Juicy Couture, which has been my one of my favorite go-to perfumes for so many years. This one is a little bit warmer, a little bit more mature, although I will say it still just reminds me of that very young fragrance. The Juicy Couture Gold has notes of honeysuckle, golden amber, creamy caramel, and vanilla. I would say this is a little bit warmer than the original Juicy Couture and leans into that caramel vanilla a little bit more. It is absolutely delicious every time i wear this i cannot stop selling myself <laughs> i feel like this would be the perfect date night fragrance it's very sweet but it's not like overly syrupy sweet i feel like it's just the right amount for someone who likes the juicy couture viva la juicy you will absolutely love this i now prefer this over the original viva la juicy even though i've been a fan for several years. It's probably been my longest worn fragrance over the years, but this is just everything that the Viva La Juicy encompasses plus a little bit extra and a little bit sweeter take on it and I absolutely love it. You guys, the final fragrance that I'm sharing with you today is the perfect vanilla scent. I think I finally found it. I'm someone who loves to smell like a sugar cookie or very, very sweet to the point where it might be a little bit too much for some people. This is the Eau de Toilette, Eau de Toilette, Toilette, Toilette. This is the classic Anthropology Eau de Toilette Vanille fragrance. It's so affordable. It's 1.6 ounces and it is the most perfect vanilla 
out there if you are into a very very sweet almost cotton candy like vanilla this is the perfume for you because it's so inexpensive i find myself wearing this every single day i will even layer it with other perfumes specifically i love to layer these two together it just adds a little bit of a sweeter more vanilla undertone which i cannot get enough of i've gotten so so many compliments on this perfume and like i said it's one of the least expensive options very affordable i've seen a lot of people rave about this Trust me, it's worth the hype. You absolutely need this. If I had to recommend one perfume to you guys, it would be Black Opium, but the very, very close runner-up would be this perfume. Like I said, the affordability and just how well it pairs with so many different perfumes, if you're into layering perfume, makes this one of the best perfume purchases that I've ever made, and you will smell like a freaking if you do not like sweet or gourmand scents, this is probably not the perfume for you. Like I said, it's very, very sweet. I would even say it pulls a little bit like cotton candy. Be sure to tell me what your favorite perfume is down below in the comments. I would absolutely love to hear and I'm always looking for new perfume recommendations. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, all of those perfumes will be linked in the description box below to check out and I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye!